What's up guys, it's Sydney and this is your 60 minute full body burnout boot camp. So grab your heavy weights and your light weights and let's get started. What's up guys, I'm so excited to have you here for our 60 minute full body burnout boot camp. We are gonna be hitting all the muscles of the body and the first half of the workout we'll be using our heavy dumbbells and the second half of our workout will be that burnout phase. So we're gonna be moving into our lighter dumbbells. I have a lot of options today. <laughs> my dumbbell rack is full. I've got five, eight, and 10 pounds up top for my kind of like burnout lighter movements. And then I've got 20 and 30 pound dumbbells on the bottom for my heavier movements. Okay, so like I said, our first 11 exercises will be heavy, kind of slower paced, boot camp style. So we've got station here and a station here. And we're gonna work for three rounds of 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds rest, okay? Two exercises, supersetted back to back. Make sure before you head out today, if you haven't already grabbed your calendar, to grab that August calendar. The link will be in the description below and that'll help you see what workout is coming up next. For the whole month, you'll know if you need dumbbells or not, how long the workouts are, and what workout will be coming up on the video or on the channel tomorrow, okay? So make sure you check that out and also if you're looking for that nutrition and accountability component, check out the Sydney Squad. That's where I do all my nutritional coaching and my motivating and checking in with you guys, answering your questions. So if you want a little bit more than just the workouts, I've got you there in the Sydney Squad. So check both of those things out in the description below. But Give me a big thumbs up if you are ready for this 60 minute boot camp workout. It's been a while since we've done a boot camp. All right, let's go onto the back of your mat. I want you first to walk hands down to the floor in three, two, one. Hinge it forward. And let's swivel the hips left and right. I want to start you off with a good warm up, and we've got a really good cool down too. So stick around for that so you can feel really good going into tomorrow. All right, hands come back into the middle. Let's walk it out, 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 and kick your right leg up top, right outside your right hand. Which is sit down here first, and then push your hips up so both legs are straight. And let's rock through that cycle four times. One, two, nice job. Down, 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 push the hip down. Three, and let's go one more, push the hip down. Hips up, straight legs, and perfect. Hands down, let's swing the other foot up to the top. Drop the back knee, hips down first. And push it up, straight legs. Four times here as well. Good job. Two. But just a couple seconds at each position. Push your hips back up to the top. Keep your hands here. Kick your leg back. And we're gonna walk, walk, walk back into your hips. Deep squat and let's shift your hips left and right. Really wanna work on getting everything warmed up in the lower body and then we'll move up into your upper body. All right, three, two, one. Shift your hips up into the air and slowly roll it up. Let's go walking, butt kicks. Okay, front to back. Working on pulling the hamstring and stretching the quad at the same time. There you go. Now stop in the middle of your mat and let's speed that up just a little bit more. Good job, I hope you guys are ready for a really good workout today. There you go, three, two, one, hands on your hips, let's go left and right. Moving up from the legs into the hips. Good job, left, right. And one more time each side. Here we go, left and right, and then back up to the middle up top. Cross your arms over your chest. Woo. Anyone that's doing the push-up challenge this month, you purchase the calendar, you're in the Sydney squad, you're doing that push-up challenge, make sure you continue to stretch your arms, okay? And keep them moving. All right, hands up over top, pull your arm up and over, and switch, and 
and switch. There you go, three, two, one. All right, your two exercises for exercise or circuit number one. Shoulder press here, curtsy lunges over here. All right, so I'm gonna grab my shoulder press weight. We've got 30 seconds at a time, okay? Shoulder press is gonna be here and I want you to give me one of your heaviest dumbbells over here for curtsy lunges, okay? So in seven seconds, we're gonna start right here. Shoulder press, okay? Three, two, one, here we go. Both arms straight up. Feeling nice and strong here. Keep your breathing going the whole workout today. Good job, 15 more seconds. There you go, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Now bring those dumbbells down, move it over to station two, curtsy lunges. I'm just gonna hold this dumbbell right at my chest, switching left leg and then right leg, okay? So three, two, one, go ahead and come with me. Sit, and sit. There you go. See if you can get your back knee down to the floor. Front heel is dug into the ground. Make sure there's enough space so that both of your knees are bent. If you're modifying here, either drop the weight or just give me a body weight curtsy lunge. Four, three, and rest. Beautiful job. That is round one. We've got three rounds of these two stations, okay? So adjust if you need to. Seven seconds and we'll go back to round two of our shoulder press. Big deep breath. Two, one, let's go. Make sure on the shoulder press, you're not arching your back. Not super squeezing your dumbbells. You're just pushing your hands up to the ceiling, bringing them back down. Five seconds. Two, one, rest. Beautiful job, and we're back over. Curtsy lunges for 30. You guys doing all right? All right, here we go. Grab your heavy dumbbell. Three, two, one, let's go. This workout's gonna move quickly because I'm gonna keep you moving. Give you three rounds of each circuit to make sure you give me all you've got in each one. There you go. 10 more seconds. That's it, four, three, two, one. Rest and let's go one more time of each. So. You know the drill. Bump it up if you can. Last chance to do shoulder press with this heavy weight. Three, here we go. Two, one, press it out. Let's go. Good job. Keep your wrists strong. 15 seconds. Here you go, five, one more, three, two, one, rest, good job. 15 seconds rest. We're headed over to your last round of curtsy lunges. And then, after this, we're gonna rock into chest presses on the floor, okay? Here we go, last round of curtsies. Three, two, one, let's go. Good job, 15 seconds. And then you're gonna grab your chest press weight. That's it, seven, six, two, one, rest, great job. All right, chest press and glute bridges. That's your next circuit. Okay, you've got about 20 seconds, so grab some water if you need it. Here 
All right, chest press is first. We're gonna go in 10 more seconds. So elbows are out to the side, press right here. Okay, come with me in four, three, two, one, let's go. Feeling really strong today, right? Whew, here we go. Good job, 13 seconds. And then we're gonna grab that heavy dumbbell or dumbbells and the glute bridges. Here we go, four, three, two, one, rest. All right, I'm gonna grab my heavy dumbbells. All right, throwing them right on top of my hips. Heels are down, shoulders are down. They're coming up in two, one, and let's go, sit and push. Great job, 15 seconds down. Make sure you're not just lifting, but you're lifting and squeezing at the top for a second, okay? Seven. Three, two, one, rest. And I've kept these two together so you can go, you're laying right here for both exercises, right? So you can go down and just have to switch over. If you wanna bump your weights up, Let's do it. Round number two, chest press. And here we go. Great job. 15 more seconds. And then you're back, glute bridges. Almost there, six, five. Three, two, one, rest. Beautiful job. We're back to the glute bridge. Bump it up if you can, okay? There you go, I know I'm talking a lot. I know I'm keeping you moving, but we got this. Here we go, dumbbells on the hips. Two, one, bridge it up. Up and up. Great job, 15 more seconds. You still with me? Whew. There you go, feeling strong here, right? Four, three, two, one, rest. And we've got one more round of each and then we'll take a 30 second rest. Push yourself on this last round, okay? Promise yourself this whole workout is about pushing you, okay? Here we go, last round. Three, two, one, chest press. Let's go. Press the outer edges of your hand up, up, up to the ceiling. You got 14, 13. Almost there, five. Three, two, one, rest, good job. Okay, last round of glute bridge. Whew. Shake your hands out. All right, dumbbells on your hips. Ready for that last time? Let's go, squeeze hard. Three, two, one, we're going up and up. You want a little extra challenge? Don't touch the floor. Good job, 15, 14. That's it, come on, we got it. Five, four, two, one, and 30 seconds rest. Amazing job, guys. Whew, okay, next exercise, we've got a tricep overhead extension. So I'm gonna take one of my dumbbells for that one. Okay, tricep overhead extension for number one. Single leg Romanian deadlift for number two. So I'm gonna actually use the same weight there. Okay, but tricep overhead is first. Dumbbell is here. You're gonna bend and push, okay? Join me in three, 
two, one, let's go ahead. So my elbows nice and close. Again, this is that heavy part of your workout. So I'd rather you go for weight over speed here, but technique above all, okay? 15 seconds. I know it's coming straight off of the chest press, so you did use your triceps a lot there. So just think of them as warmed up, right? <laughs> Three, two, one, rest. Beautiful job. Coming down to station two, single leg Romanian deadlift. Keeping my right leg down, dumbbell is in my left hand. Coming down and up. Only this leg for the first round, okay? Two, one, let's go. Right leg down, left leg has the dumbbell and it's just tracing right down the front of my leg. Obviously, if this isn't heavy enough, you know to bump it up. Keep all four corners of your foot on the ground. That's it, seven seconds. Perfect, three, two, one. If you need a modification for that one next time, just float that toe back and touch the ground. Instead of going up, just touch it down and hinge back and forth. Okay, we're back over to the triceps. Here we go, dumbbell up. Two, one, let's go. Bend and extend. You're doing great, guys. This is our third circuit already. Good job. Here you go, 15 more seconds. Feel that bend. Try to get to your extension instead of being all the way back up here. Keep it floating out back a little bit. And make sure your triceps are still working. Three, two, one, rest. Yes, I can definitely feel the difference when I do that. Okay, switching legs on your Romanian deadlift. Okay, so switch legs. If you want to do same side, you can. I like to do opposite arm, opposite leg. Ready? Let's go. Good, core is tight, back is flat. You're thinking of your hips going backwards and forwards. Good job, six, five, two, one, rest, and we've got one more round of each. Next round on this one, you're gonna alternate legs, okay? All right, last round, triceps overhead. I know this one's burning. Last round of it, okay? Three, two, one, let's go. There you go, extend and keep that angle on your extension. There you go. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, let's take both of our dumbbells now. Single legs over here, you're gonna alternate. So we're going left leg and then right leg. Again, if you wanna just touch your toe down and come up and switch, that's totally fine, okay? Just stay balanced, keep your core tight. Ready? Let's go. Try out a couple. I like to trace my leg with my dumbbells. So outlining my shin with my dumbbells. Good job. Eight more seconds. Three, two, one and you've got 30 seconds rest. Amazing job. We're gonna go into bicep curls over here for your first exercise, and then a sumo squat on the other side. So again, one of my heaviest is gonna go over here, okay? 15 seconds, grab some water. We're just going regular bicep curls over here. So grab that weight, whatever it is for you. 30 seconds goes fast, doesn't it? All right, here we go, three, Two, one, let's go. 30 seconds, bicep curls. No rush here. Let's try our heavies. Focus on working hard instead of working fast. A 
okay? Good job. Three, two, one, rest. Drop those dumbbells, give me a sumo stance, and we're gonna go sumo squat, side knee drive. Feet are wide, coming down, knee drive. Down, knee drive. Okay, just keep it out to the side. Ready, let's go. Wide stance, up, drive. If you wanna modify that, just take the feet in together. Okay, or just keep both of your feet down. Fifteen, fourteen. Keep your butt going back. Sit, drive. There we go. Three, two, one. Rest. Good job. Whew. Back to the bicep curls. Doing all right? All right. I know it's heavy, but I know you can push yourself through this. We're doing it together. Three, two, one. Let's go. Hear me breathing? I need you to do the same. Ten more seconds. Good job. Four, three, two, one. Beautiful job. Two down here. Let's finish up with round number two over here. Sitting down low, remember this isn't a bend, it's a sit, okay? So make sure you're not just bending towards the floor, but your butt is sitting down. Three, two, one, let's go. There you go, just a little extra twist on this sumo squat, a little balance aspect. 15 seconds, make sure your chest is up, you're looking up at me as you sit. Okay, you're not here bending. You're down low. Five, three, two, one. Awesome job. Last round. Can you bump those weights up on your bicep curl or on your squat? If so, let's do it. Round three. I believe in you. you Got to believe in yourself too. Two, one, let's go. Great job, 15 more seconds. I'm with you, let's go five. Good, three, two, one, and rest. Great job. Okay, we're done with those guys. Back to the sumo squats. All right, nice and wide. There we go. Three, two, one, let's get it. Last full range of motion, sumo squat. Good job. 15 seconds, let's go. Big push over here. Seven. Two, one, rest. Now, I wanna show you, you've got 30 seconds rest here. The second exercise on our next circuit is gonna be a back squat. So, you're taking this dumbbell, setting it right on top of your traps, okay, and you're going here. That's gonna be our back squat motion, okay? Your move over here on the other side, alternating bent rows, okay? We've got about 20 seconds left here. strength circuit. Heavy is what I want the goal to be. Control and heavy. All right, let's go in four, three, alternating rows. Two, one, let's go. I'll try to give you a couple reps in there before we start so you kind of know what's coming. But what I want you to think about is 
backwards. Okay, instead of coming up here in your armpit, I want you to go back towards your spine. Okay, nine, eight. There you go, four, three, two, one, rest. All right, heavier dumbbell, back squat. So taking it up over your head, sit it right on that cushiony part of your triceps right here, okay? Elbows stay forward, three, two, squat it down, push your butt back, keep that dumbbell right over your heels the whole time. Core is tight, your back is straight. Great job, 10 more seconds. If this is just really something you can't get comfortable with, just bring that dumbbell right back to your chest. Here we go, two, one, rest. Woo, great job. Like I said, if you can't get it to feel right right there, just bring it right here, okay? Just a heavy squat. Seven seconds, back to alternating bent rows. You're doing fantastic. Keep working hard with me. Two, one, let's go. Good, think about engaging first with the shoulder blade. Okay, so make sure you're not curling here first and trying to pull back. Shoulder blade goes backwards. Nine. Four, three, two, one, rest. Woo, great job. Two down here. Let's come over for round number two here on our back squat. Woo, big deep breath. Doing okay? There you go, here we go, three, two, one, let's go. Sit and push. Equal pressure in both feet. That's it, 10 more seconds. Five. Four, and rest, good job. Last round of each. Whew, I know this is a lot of back work in one, so if you need to, take a little breather, a little shake out right here. Let's go, last round of both of them, okay? Two, one, let's get it. Shoulder blade squeezes, had so many Back flexing selfies in our Sydney squad this week. You guys are feeling that confidence from building these strong muscles and I love it. I couldn't love it anymore. If there's one thing I could want for everyone, it's to feel strong, mentally, physically, emotionally. Two, one, rest. All right, throw those heavies up. Whew. One more heavy over here. Whew. Throwing it right on your back. Here we go, three, two, one, let's go. Sit it back and down. Good, equal pressure in both feet. That's something I'm working on for myself as well. If anyone with an injury is coming back, you will more than likely tend to shift to your stronger side. Keep pushing both feet down. Two, one, rest. You've got one minute rest, guys. I want you to grab some water. If you wanna stay moving, feel free to jog in place. But I want you to grab some water. Closing out the heavy strength circuit, we're moving into that burnout circuit phase of our workout, okay? You've done great so far. Still working just as hard in the second half. Same kind of deal, 30 seconds, 15 seconds rest, 30 seconds, two exercises, okay? What we're gonna start with is replicas of the moves that we've just completed, okay? So you won't have to learn any complex moves. Think back to what we just did, our heavy, basic strength moves, okay? We're gonna do that, tinier ranges of motion, lighter weights, a little bit faster, okay? So for instance, your first exercise here, shoulder press. Two pulses per arm. 
We're starting at the top. One, two, one, two. And you're just gonna keep switching, okay? We'll go here in eight seconds. So grab your weights that you wanna use, okay? Bring them both up top. We're going with the left arm first. Two, one, one, two, one, two. Great job. Keep the core tight, don't let the hips swivel. That's it, 10 more seconds. Awesome, five, four, three, two, one, rest. And you're gonna take these dumbbells over to the other side. Three curtsy lunge pulses per leg and stand. Okay, so we're going one, two, three, switch. One, two, three, switch. All right, let's go in two, one. Here we go, down with the back knee for three. Stay low, switch, two, three. Low, switch, two, three. There we go. That front leg should be rocking the whole time. If you're thinking of dropping your front heel and your knee, down, down, down. 10 seconds. Great job, rest. Now, switching it up, round number two. We're gonna hold right arm right here halfway. Left arm is gonna be pulsing the whole time, okay? Yes, I know, we can do it though. Okay, right arm stays here, ready? Let's go, one, two, one, two. So both arms are working. We've got a unilateral workflow here. One side's isometric, holding. The other side is working. We've got nine, eight, seven, four, three, two, one, rest. Woo, great job. All right, coming back. We're gonna stay right leg out front, left leg out back. You're staying here for the whole 30, okay? Dumbbells are here. Or here, if you feel more comfortable. Two, one, let's go. Think about back knee floating down towards the floor. Make sure it's not straight and you're not up here. Bend it, sit it, stay down there. Don't come up for 15, 14, 13 more seconds. And then we'll switch legs on the last round. A little lower, that's it, five, four, Three, two, one, perfect. Okay, back to the shoulders. <laughs> We're gonna switch arms. Isometric hold with the left. Right arm is pumping, okay? Here we go. Hold it here. Three, two, one, let's go. So this left arm is pumping, or is holding, I'm sorry. Right arm is just raising the roof by itself. It's a solo party over here on this side. Okay, that's it, 15 more presses, let's go. 13, 12, 11, eight, seven, core is tight. Other arm is still hanging out midway. Three, two, one, good job. Okay, back to the curtsies, last round. And this time we're going to the opposite side. Okay, so left leg is up top, right leg is in the back. We're gonna sit low for three, two, one, for 30 seconds, right here. One side may feel a little bit less balanced, and that's okay, you'll get it. Once you get your groove, stay right there. Just think of front heel and back knee sinking into the floor. You'll feel those glutes engage, you'll feel your inner thigh, outer thigh, your back leg. There you go, we've got four, three, two, one. Beautiful job. And we're resting for 30. Good job, guys. Grab your water, 30 seconds rest. Your next move, chest, fly, pulse. Okay, so come on down. We'll go in about 10 seconds here. Chest, fly, pulse. You're taking it wide. And you're gonna stay wide. So you're here, here, here. 
Ready? Two, one, let's go. Elbows up, pulse, pulse. Stay as close to the ground as you can without touching the ground. Great job. All right, 15 seconds. Beautiful, seven more seconds. Come on, seven, six, five, three, two, one. All right, glute bridge pulses. Bring those heels down, hips are up. Throw those dumbbells on top of your quads. You're going out, 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 okay? If you can, roll it up onto your toes for an even bigger burn. Ready, let's go. One, two, one, two. Beautiful job. You're looking right up towards your legs. Do not let those hips fall. Even higher, let's go 12, 11. Little pulses out, five. There we go, three, two, one. Bring the hips down and we're back to the chest fly. We're gonna keep both arms working here. Big deep breath, feet are down. Four, three, two, let's open it up. One, two, one, two. Perfect. Think about right outside your rib cage. Make sure you're not up over your head. You're circling the chest muscles, which are right on top of your ribs. There you go. Nine, eight, seven, you're right there. Three, two, one, beautiful. Woo. All right, crossing that left leg on top of the right leg. Same thing, single leg. If you cannot do single leg, keep both feet on the ground. But we're going up. In two, one, stay right here. Up, up. And if you need to drop the dumbbells, that's totally fine. You wanna lift this top leg up, totally fine as well. It's your workout, I just need you to give me 100. 15 more seconds, can you give me 15 pulses? Let's go, 13, 12, 11, 10. Beautiful, six, five, Three, two, one, throw it down. Woo, last round of both. You're doing great. Come up for a breather. Let the sweat fall. Yes, here we go. All right, back to the chest fly. Last round of it. Two, one, almost to the floor, and pulse, pulse, pulse. Here we go. Burnout style. Pinkies are driving in towards the middle. Your dumbbells are right outside your ribs. Arms are long. 10. Come on, five, four, give me three, two, one, rest. Okay, switching legs. Whew. Almost done with this circuit. And we're moving on. You're gonna know all the moves that we're doing. Okay, you're gonna remember them from round one and our heavy strength. All right, ready? Come on up, three, two, one, pulse it out. Let's go, up, up. This top leg can be doing whatever. Here, cross, doesn't matter. All that matters is, is that bottom glute and hamstring are rocking for 15 more seconds. Beautiful, come on, eight, seven. Three, two, one, rest. Oh yeah, beautiful job. 30 seconds rest, you're doing fantastic. All right, grab some water. Your next move, tricep kickback pulses. Oh, I know, I need a breather too. Tricep kickback pulses, so you might lower the weight a little here. I'm gonna do the same, okay? Tricep kickback pulses. Let's go together in three, two, one. All right, here we go. Trying to keep your arms nice and straight. 
You're just pulsing about three inches. Up, up, up. 15 more seconds, here we go. Good job. Five, good job. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, take those dumbbells, placing them on the ground for exercise two. You're gonna go RDL pulse. Here, here. Okay, right leg first, three, two, one, let's go. Up, up. Nice and long. Flex that toe back towards your knee. Good job. 15 seconds, let's go up, up, up. Good job. Nine, come on, we got it. Seven, six, keep it high for four, three, two, one, rest. Woo! Okay, back to the triceps. I'm actually gonna go down one because I know my form was not the greatest on round one. I want your arms to stay pretty straight, pinkies to stay high. We're going from hip to over your back, okay? Two, one, here we go. Whatever weight you need to do to make it work, that's the weight that's gonna work best for you. Good job, 13, 12, 11. Come on, here we go. Seven, six, five, beautiful. Four, three, two, one, come on back. We're switching over to the other leg, okay? Whew, you guys, doing, you guys are doing great. Give me a thumbs up if you're still with me. Whew. Okay, hands are here. Three, two, one, switch that leg, flex your toe towards your knee, and then squeeze, squeeze. You need to modify, take that leg and bend it, lift, bend it, lift. There we go. You got 10 more seconds. Five, good job. Four, come on, three, two, one. All right, that's it for this one. One more round of tricep kickbacks. All right, here we go. Light dumbbells. I know it seems like these are way too light, but once you get them out there, and you get them pulsing, it starts to burn, right? Two, one, let's go. Up, up. Beautiful, come on. That's it, give me 10 more seconds. 10, nine. Come on, push high, pinkies are up in the air. Nice long arms, let's go, four. Three, two, one. Okay, different style on the last one. Laying on the floor, okay? We're gonna pulse both cheeks up here. Okay, so you're connecting your heels up, up, okay? Come with me in three, two, one. Heels are touching, you're going up, up. Okay, you can anchor yourself here, you can reach out front. Whatever you need to do to keep those hips driving down. Your glutes squeezing together. Great job. 15, 14. Come on, give me 10 more really good seconds. Nine, eight, seven. That's it. Four, three, two, one. Oh, rest. Yowchies, I know that one's burning. Big deep breath, you got 30 seconds rest, okay? Your next move, bicep curls, pulses, and then sumo slide pulses. All right, so your bicep curl pulses, like I said, 15 more seconds rest. We're coming to the top, here, here. Okay, coming halfway. I'm gonna go up just a little bit. All right, come with me in two, one. Here we go, hold. Just bring it up and down about one inch. Driving the pinkies up. Don't let your elbows shift back so it's not a here. Okay, keep your elbows here. Bend, bend. Perfect, let's go five, 
four, two, one, rest. Take these dumbbells with you. Crisscross them so that, the, so that they are in the shape of an X. Sumo stance, you're coming down, you're gonna pull side to side. One, two, one, two. Ready, let's go. And notice my back is flat, but it is bent forward just a little bit. It's still flat. Hips are going up and down, up and down. Not your chest, just your hips. Like you're thinking about sitting on a chair, but then you realize you don't want to. Nope. <laughs> Six, five. It's a weird metaphor probably, but it got you thinking, right? Two, one, rest. Good job. All right, we're going back to isometric hold on one side, pulse on the other, just like we did for your shoulder press. Take your right arm, isometric hold right here. Other arm is pulsing. Three, two, one, let's go. Think about this other dumbbell going right over and right under your other dumbbell. 15 seconds, great job. That's it, you're doing fantastic. Stay with me here. Two, one, rest. Whew. Big deep breath, back to the sumos. All right, here we go, five seconds, you ready? Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, just slowly going from side to side. Perfect, We're almost there. Give me 10 more seconds. That's it, two, one, rest. Woo, okay, quads burning, anyone else? <sighs> okay, isometric hold with the right arm, or sorry, with the left arm, right arm is moving. Right here, three, two, one, let's go. Perfect. Keep it flexing over here on the isometric side. 15, 14, good job. 15, good job. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Whoo, rest. All right, back to the sumo slide pulses. Just take it wide, toes are pointed forward. Grab your dumbbells, three, two, one, sit it low. Stay focused on keeping your hips down for 15 more seconds. Good, almost there, almost there. Come on, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. 30 seconds rest, beautiful job. Grab some water. Whew. You guys doing okay? We've got two more circuits, and then we've got a really nice long cool down, okay? Okay, first move here, single arm bent row pulses. So I'm gonna ask you to come down onto your hands and knees, okay? Hands are facing backwards, so your dumbbells are horizontal here. Knees are wide, okay? You're gonna go one, two, switch. One, two, switch. All right, go ahead and come with me in two, one. Let's go, elbow, elbow, back down. One to place it down. Think of a 90 degree angle and you want to feel this in your back of your shoulder and your back muscles. So make sure you're not feeling it in your biceps, right? You're not coming here. You're coming back, back. Two, 
two, one, rest. All right, now leave these dumbbells here. We're gonna turn them long ways and you're gonna grab the dumbbells right below that weight. Heels up, squat pulses right here at your chest. Three, two, one, let's go. Heels are on top. Make sure it's not the arch of your foot, but the heels, okay? Almost there. 12, 11, give me 10 more pulses. 10, nine, eight, four, three, two, one. Beautiful job. All right, leave those dumbbells here. We're going back down on two hands and knees. Okay, now we're just doing left arm only. Okay, support yourself with this arm right here. One, two, down. One, two, down. Ready? Let's go. Keep your belly straight. Make sure your hips aren't shifting out to where you're going. Keep everything in line for 15 more seconds. That's it, three, two, one, rest. Okay, back to the squats. Grab those dumbbells. Whew. You're doing great, we're right there, guys. <sighs> All right, here we go. Heels on top, two, one, let's go. Keep your butt low, keep your chest up. Your vision is just straight forward. There you go, seven seconds. Six, five, two, one, rest. Okay, drop those. Last round here, we're going with that right arm pulsing out. Okay, so you're fly, fly, down, okay? Three, two, one, let's go. There you go, elbows up, 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 back down. We got it, 15 more seconds. Perfect, you got five. Two, one, rest, good job. Woo. Back to those squats. Okay, straighten them out. Grab the other dumbbells right at your chest. I know you're sweating. I know, we got this. Heels up, three, two, one. Let's go, butt goes back, then you sit, sit. Good job, 15, 14. That's it, lower for seven, six, five. I know, come on, four, two, one. Oh, rest. Okay, 30 seconds rest. And we've got one more circuit here to go. We're gonna go heavy on this side, light pulse on the other side. Grab some water first. And guys, this is our last one. Last two exercises that you have to do. I should say, last two that we get to do, okay? We're blessed to be here, okay? So grab one of your heavy dumbbells here in your left hand. In 10 seconds, I want you to take it, squat, press. Lower back down, okay? Combo of lower and upper, ready? 30 seconds, two, one, let's go. Squat, press. Beautiful. So we got legs and shoulders, right? So we're gonna do the same thing in our pulsing on the other side. Here we go, six, three, two, 
one rest. Leave this guy here. Grab your lightest, lightest dumbbell. Plie squat stance. We're nice and wide. Okay, we're going down. One, two, three, stand. One, two, three, stand. Ready? Let's go to the side. One, two, three. Fifteen seconds. Good job. Sit all the way down there. I know it burns, but I also know we can do this. We're in it together. Let's go one more. Here we go. Three, two, one. Leave them there. We're switching to the right arm here. Squat, right arm press. If you feel unstable over here, you can always drop this weight down, okay? All right, here we go. Pick that heavy dumbbell up. Three, two, one, let's go. Remember all the power that we learned about last month? This is it. Ten. Three, two, one. Rest. Whew. Throw that dumbbell up. Grab your lighter of the two heavies and throw it out there, okay? We're going double arm on the last round. Same thing over here. Three, two, one. Sit it down. We go one, two, three, up. As you sit, lift away, and you end up getting to the side and the bottom at the same time. 12, 11, 10. Good job, let's go one more round. Four, three, two, one, rest. All right, Whew. last strength exercise right here. 30 seconds, heavy, good form. And we'll go one more round there, okay? Five seconds, let's get those dumbbells up. Here we go together. Two, one, let's go. Core tight, chest up, butt low, punch. Fifteen seconds. Here we go, I'm with you. That's it, six. Three. Two, one, rest and throw those up. We've got one more round of our pulses. Here we go. In seven. Three, two, one, let's go. Lift and sit. Bring it to the middle. That's it, right here. You've got, woo, 15 seconds left and we're done. Let's go. One, two, three. Come on. Butt down. Let's go two more rounds. Stand up. Let's go together. Ready? Sit. Three, two, one. Dumbbells down. Lift your hips up. Relax your arms. Legs are straight. Stay right here for me. We're moving right from our last move into a cool down. Your body's gonna need this tomorrow. Walk your hands over to your left foot in towards the middle of the mat. Stretch your back out, keep your heels grounded into the floor. And walk it over to the other side. Toes are still pointed forward. If you can, you can grab onto your heel and kind of pull away. So you feel a stretch all on your side body here. Come back into the middle. Both feet are back at the back edge of the mat. And you're gonna lower down. Chest comes up. Chin comes up. You're looking up to the ceiling as you exhale. Big deep breath in and out. Pull your chin in, 
Lift your hips up to a all fours position, tabletop right here. All right, walk your hands out further away. Drop your chest to the floor, keep your butt in the air. Chest goes down, I want you to feel a stretch all in your lats and your back muscles and the back of your shoulders. Fingers and palms of your hand are flat on the mat. Push into the floor, push your chest down. Walk your fingertips back. So you're sitting right over your calves and then take your arms behind you. Okay, relax your neck. Just breathe. All right, release your arms. Bring them right back under your shoulders. Come on up. Okay, tabletop position again. I want you to straighten your hips up and bring your left foot right under your belly button. Okay, so your legs are split. You're gonna stay right here for a second. Walk back. There you go, now switch legs. Left leg is right under your belly button. The other leg is back behind you. Hips are straight, but you're getting a really good stretch in those hamstrings. Walk both feet back together. Slowly roll it up. And let's cross left arm over to the right side. Pull and switch. Right arm over to the left side. And big deep breath in. Reach, reach, reach. <sighs> Exhale. And you can continue throughout the weekend to kind of pull on your fingers to stretch out your forearms. Definitely find a doorway to put your hands on the back side of and step through to stretch out your chest from all these push-ups that you probably are doing. Okay, and I want you to know how proud I am of you of tackling this workout. Number one, a lot of people see 60 minutes and they think, whoop, I can't do that, right? But you did it, you're here and you did do it. So whether you were intimidated by the 60 minutes, intimidated by the word boot camp, intimidated by the weights, whatever the thought process was behind you coming into this workout, you were just tired, you were unmotivated, you're here. So take a minute and relish in this moment. Be proud of yourself. The fact that you are here right now means you accomplished 60 minutes of hard work, okay? So take that in for just a second. Don't ignore the fact that you finished a workout. I know it's part of your day, it's part of your routine, but this isn't easy. Not everyone can do this, okay? Not everyone can get their minds right to step onto the mat or step up to the weights. The fact that you did it is a big deal. So take a minute here, pat yourself on the back, give yourself a fist bump, thumbs up, flex, whatever you wanna do. Be proud of yourself, okay? Don't forget to be proud of yourself on your journey. That's how you keep going, okay? You don't just stop rewarding yourself because you have a big goal. Lots of little tiny goals add up to this big goal. So celebrate, reach another one, celebrate. Even if it's a non-scale victory, a personal victory, emotional strength, mental strength, celebrate these things, okay? Pat yourself on the back, give yourself a day at the spa, get your nails done, take a day out to the park with your friends, whatever it is, don't forget, all these little celebrations add up to your big goals, okay? Keep that in mind. Don't forget to celebrate all the small things because they add up to be the big things. And you guys, you mean so much to me. Thank you for being here. I know it's hard for you to think about subscribing every day, but I post a workout every day, so you don't normally need to subscribe, but it means a lot to me to know that you guys are taking advantage of these workouts. I think about 60% of the people who watch these videos actually aren't subscribed, and I get it because you know I'm gonna post a workout every day, but subscribing helps me know that you guys are sticking in this with me, with the journey. You're staying with me and you really do appreciate these workouts and I appreciate you showing up. So if you don't care, take a minute to subscribe to the channel and share it with a friend who might also benefit from them. All I wanna do is help you guys and know that these workouts are helping you. Thank you for being here. Make sure if you finish the workout, first give yourself a pat on the back and then give this video a thumbs up. I'm so proud of you. Type in the comments below, I crushed it and I will see you guys back here tomorrow. Bye guys. Good, 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 good.